I'm Sarah, so this is actually my first time at Booby Bowl, so I'm excited to give it a try. So, Tuesday was our day day off yesterday, uh, and Josh wasn't with me, so I vlogged myself, and then went to edit it last night, and a good hour, probably longer, learned how to transition in Adobe Premiere, and then I went to export it, and... I couldn't drag the screen up to hit like the Q button or whatever, and so I had to go upstairs, took my laptop somehow, something got hit, started uploading, and then it failed. I put it on our story at like 115 or whatever, that, so I think I lost the, <laughs> the whole thing. I still got the footage, but um, editing is not for me, and that's why uh, I'm investing in these guys. So, anywho. Um, Wednesday we are headed to Trimark Digital. Always a great spot. Our good friend Randy and his team love having us out there. Part of downtown Raleigh. Always busy, 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 busy. Weather's going to be perfect. It's National Nurses Week, National Teacher Appreciation Week, so we're offering 20% off to nurses and teachers because we appreciate what they do for us and our kids and nurses with everybody. So um, just looking forward to another banging day. It's gonna be a long one for me. Got to head after this. Got to head to the cold storage, load up acai, load it in our coolers. Found the spot, 100% yesterday. Um, so I'm about to actually call the real estate agent see if we can't set up a meeting to meet there. Also going to look at another property. So another day. Like yesterday was my day off, 18 hours. Like this shit is not done in three, four hours a day. Um, so. Have another good day. Sugar. So yeah, we're out of propane. Uh, our water's not warming up. Um, by code, you have to have water at least 120 degrees to get to that temperature and. Um, our tankless water heater runs on propane, so we gotta go switch that out real quick before we head to rally, so that's what we're about to do. How did you get this thing off? I have no idea how I got it on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is not where I get my coconut water, but we're out and I've got to do a restock trip this afternoon. Um, I don't have enough coconut water. Damn, that's just expansive. Thank you so much. Yes, I love it. The combination that I got is delicious. Yeah. So we're super excited. We are. So this is our first time at Bowie Bowls and we've kind of been stalking on Facebook and Instagram to see where you are and come try it out. So we're about to take our first bite. That's good. So good. Mm. Really good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We love Bowie Bowls. 
bowls. Okay. I like dewy bowls because they're healthy and delicious. I like dewy bowls because they're refreshing and colorful and healthy too. Um, we like Bully Bowls so much because it's a really awesome product. It's it's organic, it's fresh, it's it's like consistent. so tasty, it's consistent. We come back because it is a product that I know when I come and get my Bully Bowls that we, it will always be the same. It's exactly what I expect. There's no change in terms of the product itself. The, uh, the people are awesome. And whenever they're in the area that I'm in, mm -hmm. I absolutely make it and I get here. Love it, right Steph? Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> it's our second time this week, actually. Um, I like Bowie Bowls and I keep coming back because they're delicious, because it's a small company that I like to support, because I can get something different every time, uh, because when you come often enough, the ladies on the truck learn your name and it feels like a place that I'm wanted and, and as much as I want them, they want my business and that feels good. Hey, my name is Foster. I work here at Trimark Digital, and we have Bowie Bowls come out pretty often. Seems like every couple weeks or once a month they're out here. And we love it. It's a great kind of midday snack. Just the sweet, the smoothie. I just got the Aloha smoothie, so we'll see how that goes. I already ate lunch, so it's a nice, nice dessert treat. Um, but they're just, they're good, just filling, healthy. Just feel good after you eat them, and we love having you guys out here. <laughs> whatever you, <laughs> works best for y'all, but Thank you so we've much. got four extra, so. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. You too. That's a wrap. <clears throat> Sorry, mouthful. Um, here at Trimark Digital, started off kind of rocky. Um, we usually have a parking spot reserved for us, but there was a car that was not a Trimark employee, and so they weren't sure whose it was, and it kind of limited the parking options we had. The line was building up, and we had nowhere to park. And so, fortunately, Randy made the car, got some cars moved out of the front of Trimark, and so we had to pull in here. Worked out great. Um, small hiccup in, in the beginning, but super successful day. It was super busy. Um, weather was perfect nice and warm so a lot of college students high school students and got people that are working in and around downtown Raleigh so good day for sure um, now still got a long day ahead of us we're headed to the cold storage unit where we're gonna pick up another pallet of acai then we got to check on a potential location um, so just another day of grinding getting after it um, Appreciate everybody that came out. I'm not sure if we had anybody take us up for the 20% um, off for teachers and nurses, but that goes through Sunday. So hopefully you guys will utilize that. We're super appreciative of um, everything you do. So we're gonna wrap it up, get out of here, and uh, keep getting after it, so thanks. So we were supposed to be going to our cold storage unit when I realized that you can't pick up after 1 p.m. and so it's 3 o'clock so I'm gonna have to leave super early tomorrow morning probably because I think I can get there at 8 a.m. but so changing plans on that we're not going way out to North Raleigh shit it's almost late for us to pick that up but um we're gonna pull over right here and I'm gonna call the real estate agent for uh, the spot in down, not downtown Cary, but uh, it's in Cary that we're, that I'm super interested in and see if we can meet him. And then uh, we may go ahead and do Costco too, but uh, let's, yeah, I might as well get some gas in this bad boy while we're here. Okay, thank you much. Bye-bye. Alright, so it's not the one I wanted to go to, 
it's one that I've looked at on the outside, but it is of interest um, because of the back uh, gated commute, not gated, <laughs> gated community, gated back, um, and I could park numerous trucks there. Um, so this one would be a commissary, strictly commissary and office. So we'll go look at it. Um, since we're not going to the cold storage. And then, um, actually I need to call <laughs> Andy Koontz at the other one, so. Just turn on the air, let's move on. So just turned it off. Okay. Like last and 10 minutes. Now this has been used as an office, it's been used as a closet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's definitely an office, sorry. Fucking stop, I'm lost, get again. Okay, well, thank you so much. I will give him a buzz. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. But it's 1,200 square foot, which that is a perfect storefront. Like we would block, like the first little bit would do, like just a bar down the wall, like with like a little bar down the wall with bar stools, and then it could be like a station. storefront menus up there, and then block that off, knock that. I don't know how far back that goes, um, but then have the kitchen back there, dude. I would yank all that to have the industrial look of the exposed ceiling um for sure so um yeah just need to get up with the guy um and that would have to come up to have to have the, the brown tile kitchen stuff but this one would need work a hundred percent but where like you call really get a um, architect or GC to come in and then draw it out for you like what it could look like but this location is money um, the gas the trucks in the morning where do I get my bananas? Food line. Where's food line? Right next door. <laughs> my favorite drunken noodle Thai restaurant. Boom. Right next door. Pantry Cafe. Maybe I'll open a bank account. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I like. I mean, it's a good spot. I just don't know if they'll let a food truck come. And then, um, so yeah, um, yeah. If you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi. Hey, I'm looking at this. Is hey. Cool. Yes. That's so, what I figured when I pulled out. I'm on the phone with him. <laughs> and so we do a daily vlog. That's why he's. You may know that. Um, but I, I, I saw you walking up. I'm like, I oh, no. did. Thanks for we're, we're part. Well, I'll be but, back when you're in there. But yeah, so hopefully that's. I just thought we're trying. To... Just stopped at. Um, I don't even know the name. It's a, a local, um, local taco truck, Mexican food, and uh, it's the first time I've eaten in this one. But the guy that kind of owns this place or whatever they're the ones that built this truck um, and so I wanted to stop but dude look at this it's a uh, kind of barbecue chicken torta um, so let's find out because this thing looks amazing look how oh dude it's got some avocado in there Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Ooh! Jalapeno! Spicy! Oh, good. Purple Patrick needs a bath. Great day. Um, on the purple truck. Busy day, as always. Let me get this thing broken down and get out of here. Get ready for a super busy day tomorrow. It's double shift Thursday, which we're off Six Forks Road. We're in Raleigh again, so I know that our Raleigh, um, <clears throat> Raleigh customers are loving it because we've been there three days in a row this week. Um, super exciting. Uh, and eventually that will be a daily thing once we've got both trucks operational um, and on the road. So I got a lot done today and uh, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Six Forks Road and then we're back at Holly Springs Academy from 5 to 8. So it's going to be another banger day um, and at some point we're going to have to get acai before in between those shifts because we weren't able to go today. Um, as I said earlier, they close at one and I got to figure something out because I don't understand pickup hours from 8 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. It just it doesn't work for my schedule <laughs> so um, we're gonna get it broke down get out of here and uh, get after it tomorrow we uh, greatly greatly appreciate your support so much and uh, giving us your attention here on YouTube and all of our other social media platforms so uh, looks like somebody hit us or something. What is that? Um, I wonder. The hose from the car wash when I was dragging it. But anyways, um, we'll see y'all tomorrow.